my name is Rachel. I work at the University of Dundee in the lab of Mike Stark and I'm in the second year of my PhD. The competition is to name your new tetra dissection annual microscope. Uh, we decided we were all going to enter it as a lab, so we were coming up with names together. I came up with Spore Play and I also entered 123 Spore. I was trying to think of something that sounded like a game or that would be quite funny, so I thought those two names probably encompassed that a bit. And they also, you got the Spore in as well, so yeah, I thought they were fun. We had a few others that weren't as good. Super Spore, <laughs> uh, the Sporulator, yeah, <laughs> that wasn't so good. <laughs> you right, Sean? Yes. This is for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's, uh, it's a great name, uh, I think it, uh, uh, it encapsulates the uh, uh, the fun, certainly, that I have pulling tetrads. Oh, wow! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, you know, some people might think pulling tetrads is a bit of a chore, but uh, I actually quite enjoy it. And with the new uh, uh, spore play microscope, I, th I think uh, it's made even easier. And then come towards it, and then move okay. away. Right. Now it's quite intuitive, so I'm just going to see how you get on without much okay. instruction. You absolutely surprised me. I had no idea anyone was coming. I had no idea that I had won, and Mike was very good. He didn't tell me anything. So I think he was trying to make sure I was in the lab looking back. He was asking me what experiments I was doing and if I'd be around, but I had no idea. I did it. You did it? Well done. <laughs> Thanks. That's great. It's never gone that smoothly before. <laughs> Is that your first ever tetrad dissection? Uh, on the manual one. So, yes. And uh, we had an older one that was, not, well, was terrible, so I never use it. So, <laughs> I'm pleased. <laughs> Great. That was genuinely very easy. It's yeah. nice with the uh, indexing uh, in both dimensions as well. Mm. That's very helpful. I think Mike is probably going to use it the most. He loves tetrads. So, if I, maybe we'll have a booking system so he can't use it all the time. <laughs> It, it's good that you can control in both uh, X and Y and Z dimensions on the one control. That makes the uh, whole process very straightforward. I was surprised how easy it was. And it is quite responsive, so it all came very naturally. I think I did the tetrad in probably less than a minute, didn't I? Yeah. All right, there's one. Oh, that's another one. That's another one done. Wow. Mm -hmm. There we are, that's a world record. 